There was a recent article published that said people taking fish oil supplements seem to have higher levels of AFib. Now, is this a concern? Well, first of all, the article was not done very correctly. One, they never measured the actual levels of fish oil in the blood. So they couldn't make any correlations between the omega-3 fatty acids in the blood and any condition. Second, they were looking at various stages of heart disease, going from no heart disease to AFib to basically now actually having a heart attack to dying. And what they found there was basically that those who said they were taking fish oil supplements without measuring the levels of the omega-3 fatty acids in the blood, they seemed to have a correlation of having, saying I had more AFib. But the same people who said they were taking the fish oil supplements had lower rates of heart attacks, lower rates of death, which says if you don't want to have a heart attack, then take your fish oil. Now, we have other articles which actually did measure the levels of fish oil, so they can make now strong correlations. And what do they find? Those who were taking fish oil supplements and they measured the levels of omega-3 fatty acids either in the blood or the adipose tissue, they actually had lower levels of AFib. So we have a diametrically opposed uh, results. Studies that actually measure the levels in the blood show there's great benefits of taking omega-3 fatty acids. Those who don't, so you might get more AFib, but you're still not going to die as much or as readily or basically get a heart attack. So this is a definitely a case of bad science generating great press.